21 Weird Symptoms of Vitamin D Deficiency There are some weird symptoms that you wouldn't think are associated with a vitamin D deficiency. And there's research behind each one. In today's video we put all that information down below. As you probably know vitamin D is so important and I think most people do know it's associated with bone loss, bone pain, low immune system, depression, high blood pressure, more inflammation if you're deficient, asthma in children, as well as poor sleep. But there are 21 additional symptoms that you probably had no idea were connected to a vitamin D deficiency. Let's go through them. So nightmares, now typically nightmares are related to a vitamin B1 deficiency, but a vitamin D deficiency can also produce the manifestation of a nightmare. Number 2 Restless Leg Syndrome. This too is usually a B1 deficiency, because someone's consuming too many carbohydrates, but it can also be a vitamin D deficiency as well. Number 3, we have acne, the sebaceous gland that is involved in acne, especially if it's inflamed, are causing some type of obstruction so the oil can get out of this gland could also easily stem from a vitamin D deficiency. Number 4 bipolar, there's been quite a few studies related to someone having bipolar, re always deficient in vitamin D. And we know how important vitamin D is in mood disorders, especially depression and other mood disorders including bipolar. Number 5 is a skipped heartbeat. Because of the direct connection with a vitamin D deficiency it can definitely affect the pacemaker of the heart so you can start off having like a skip beat, and then palpitation and maybe even worse, develop even arrhythmias, and even arterial fibrillation. There's also certain breathing disorders related to a vitamin D deficiency that go beyond just asthma. But as you might know, like a lot of pneumonia and lung infections are related to vitamin D deficiency because of the immune system being weak. And then making you susceptible to viruses. But wheezing is definitely a symptom of a vitamin D deficiency. If you have a child, a newborn that is wheezing or making this weird breathing sound, suspect a vitamin D deficiency. In fact, anything related to breathing including sleep apnea, make sure that person is getting enough vitamin D. Now skin disorders are another big one, especially psoriasis and eczema. Psoriasis is an autoimmune problem and any autoimmune problem is usually involving the immune system and a vitamin D deficiency associated with that, in fact that's the best remedy for any autoimmune problem is taking larger amounts of vitamin D3 at least 50,000 IUs, I would also add in there, making sure that the person is eating healthy keto and doing a lot of intermittent fasting because the problem with autoimmune is inflammation. So if you want to reduce inflammation, vitamin D, and fasting are the two most important things. Another thing that's related to vitamin D deficiency is sinus issues, especially in children, give them more vitamin D or get them exposed to the sun. Hay fever in adults and children is associated with a vitamin D deficiency. If your infant has rapid breathing, rapid breathing situation suspected vitamin D deficiency. If a mother is breastfeeding the infant, there's not usually a lot of vitamin D in breast milk unless that mother is getting more sun or taking vitamin D or consuming foods higher in vitamin D. Vitamin D is a very common deficiency with women who are carrying a baby as well as when they're breastfeeding. This next one is associated with a lot of children that have recurrent tonsillitis for a very enlarged tonsils. Give them more vitamin D. And there are certain types of vitamin D that come in liquid that you can use that are easy to give a small infant or a child. Another one that's associated with children is structural developmental problems. For example, flat feet, bowed legs, scoliosis, kyphosis, which is hunchback, lordosis, dental malformations, if the child's jaws are not correct, or there's an overbite or an underbite or there's just some problem with the teeth that you need a dentist or orthodontist to correct suspect a vitamin D deficiency. Number 13 Long COVID where a person has fatigue that can be either a B1 deficiency or a vitamin D deficiency. Number 14 Uterine fibroids. Apparently in one study, these fibroids were halted. Or stopped when the group consumed 50,000 IUs vitamin D3. Here's another one irregular menstrual cycles. A female is 13.3 times more likely to have irregular menstrual cycles when they are deficient in vitamin D. Number 16, urinary incontinence three times more likely if you're deficient in vitamin D, and there's one study in older black women that related to this, and they also noted that the group that took like 2000 IUs vitamin D3 didn't see any improvement in this urinary problem. So you have to take more, at least 10,000 IUs. 
Vertigo is also associated with a low vitamin D because a certain type of vertigo is really a calcium crystal building up on the inside of your ear. And that's interfering with the little hairs that are associated with your equilibrium. And taking enough vitamin D can help prevent that. But you also have to take vitamin K2 as well. In fact, anytime you take vitamin D3 also at the same time take vitamin K2 at a ratio of 10,000 I use vitamin D3 to 100 micrograms of vitamin K2. Sarcopenia that is the problem of muscle loss as someone ages you're 7.7 times more likely to develop sarcopenia if you're low in vitamin D3. Glaucoma that's pressure builds up in the eye. Apparently you're twice as likely to get glaucoma if you're low in vitamin D3. Myopia usually happens when we are exposed to too much screen time looking at the computer and not getting enough actual sun, but there's definitely an association between that condition and low vitamin D. Of course, there's many other factors but I'm just talking about the association between low vitamin D and all of these other conditions.